Hey sports fans, Neil here with the Fix Yourself channel. Now you may have noticed that in many videos and most service manuals, it'll recommend before you do any type of repair, like changing windshield wiper blades or checking the air pressure in the tires, the first thing you should do is disconnect the negative battery terminal. But of course the downside of that is it makes you lose all your radio station presets and it makes the time uh, shown on the clock to be incorrect. Now, the ra radio station presets aren't that big a deal. It's usually fairly obvious what you got to do to set a radio station. You press memory and then press the button or else you press and hold the button. The clock, however, is, can be a totally different story. It's, it can be a mystery about how to set a clock. Uh, when they first came out with electronic clocks, they had the great, the best style there ever was. I called them pen pushers. They'd have two little holes in there, one for hours, one for minutes. You'd stick a pen in the hole, set the hours, and then set the minutes, and boom, you're good to go. Now, there's some top secret code of pressing buttons on most of these uh, electronic clocks that, uh, you know, is harder to crack than the Enigma code. Now, I suppose you could refer to the owner's manual and try to figure out... Uh, to the language they use about how to set the uh, clock, but that in and of itself can be confusing enough. And by the time it takes to read and understand it, you can probably set the clock quicker with the method I'm gonna show you. Okay, so you've done a repair, you disconnected the battery terminal, and you've lost your correct time in your radio station presets. Um, Chances are, if you disconnect the battery cable on your, cut the power to your vehicle by disconnecting the battery uh, cable, the clock will always go to the same time. So let's disconnect it and see what time the clock actually goes to here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to loosen up the negative battery terminal and remove it. Okay. Sit a couple seconds here, and I'm going to hook her back up. And I'll tighten it back up just enough so we have a, a good connection on it. All right, battery terminal's tightened up. Now we'll get back in our vehicle and we'll turn her on. All right, if you noticed here, when we disconnect our battery cable and then reconnect it, our clock goes to 12 o'clock. So, disconnecting the battery cable takes all of about 30 seconds. Less time than it takes to find and open up the owner's manual. Okay, so all you have to do at this point is wait until it gets to be 12 o'clock, um, either a.m. or p.m. It doesn't make any difference on this. I suppose if you had a one that differentiated a.m. and p.m., you'd have to wait till 24 hours or or so, or whatever the amount of time would be before you have the exact same time. But here, we only have to wait about 12 hours or less. And so what we'll do here is we will wait until high noon. And we will disconnect that battery and hook her back up again. And then at that point, our car should have the correct time on its clock. With very little effort involved. No looking up on the owner's manual. No looking up on the internet. You don't have to do anything. You take off a battery terminal and put her back on. Alright, it is approaching 12 o'clock. Right at this very moment. So now let's go back to our vehicle. As you can see, about 2 hours and 10 minutes have gone by since I started recording this video. At this point, all we have to do is disconnect our battery cable, wait a few seconds, hook her back up. At that point, our clock should be showing the correct time. All right, so it's just about 12, 12 o'clock. So we will loose up our battery cable. We'll take it off. And I have learned that you do have to have it disconnected for about a minute or so, at least with this vehicle. Uh, there must be something in the electronics of this vehicle it has some type of capacitor type uh, effect and some amount of energy is stored you can't just disconnect it and immediately reconnect it but if we wait about this long I don't think it needs to be any longer than that we will put our battery 
cable back on and we will tighten her back up okay at this point it should be just about high noon and we will see what our clock says Check that out, sports fans. We got the correct time on this vehicle, and it took less than a minute. Less time than it would take to read the owner's manual and figure out the correct way to set the clock. This is also handy if you have an aftermarket stereo in your vehicle and you don't have an owner's manual, or if you lost the owner's manual for your car. So, I hope you found this helpful. I know it's kind of a redneck way of doing it, but it gets the job done. So. Until next time, we'll see you here on the Fix Yourself channel.